Good evening. My name is Monica Delancey. I'm a resident of historic Six Flags Drive community, now known as the Riverside community. Um, here, I'm here today to address a, um, and to acknowledge um, a couple of issues and concerns. The first one I want to recognize the South Cobb Redevelopment Authority. Um, Doug Stoner is the chair, and I want to recognize the good work they've been doing with communicating um, to individuals who do attend their meetings about the process and about the revi revitalization efforts, efforts that's going on in the community. Um, as you're all aware, Six Flags Drive has been changed to Riverside Parkway, and my concern is for the residents who, were, who reside on Six Flags Drive. There are over 500 residents who have not been notified about the change. I've been communicating this um, to um, your department, and apparently notices did go out to the owners of the apartment complexes, but not individual notices to the residents. So from my conversation with residents, we're concerned about our voter registration cards. Um, will, we be, will they be updated and, and when we receive those in the mail? We're concerned about our driver licenses. How much time will we have to um, make sure the correct ad address is shown in our driver licenses, as well as our mail? So if we can receive some type of formal communication with a letter or something of that magnitude delivered to the residents, um, that will help in the process. And like I said, that's 500 plus Residents with Six Flags Drive um, addresses. Um, now, I do want to recognize um, some good work that's going on in our schools um, in the community. Again, I want to congratulate Lyric Carter and her mother, Tara Carter, for being here tonight. Um, Lyric Carter is a junior at Pepperbrook High School, and so just want to recognize that. Also, Pepperbrook High School graduation rates have improved. Currently, they have a graduation rate of 72.4%. Uh, Mr. Travis Joshua um, um, is the principal of, of Pebblebrook High School. In addition, um, Pebblebrook High School varsity football team went to the playoffs um, for the first time in nine years. So just wanted to recognize that. And also, Pebblebrook High School marching band. Um, we went to Alabama uh, twice in October, and we won grand championships back to back. And then, <laughs> right, yes. And then two weeks ago, right here in the Atlanta area, we placed second place in a national high step in marching um, band contest. Um, my daughter is on the flag line. She serves as the captain. Her name is Brianna Perkins, and she's a junior at Pepperbrook High School as well. Lindley Middle School, um, the principal is Miss Lisa Moore Williams. Um, they have a partnership with Word of Faith um, Cathedral Church. Um, Word of Faith Cathedral Church will be sponsoring the school store. Um, they will be purchasing all the items, the pens, pencils, notebook, and they've been working with the students to design how the school store will look. And also, the, the students will work in the school store. So I just want to recognize that. Riverside Intermediate School, which the principal's Dr. Barbara Sweeney, have launched a 100 mentors campaign. So they're looking for mentors. So I just wanted to make sure um, to note that. Um, some other things that's going on in the community, I want to recognize some organizations who have been doing some great work for the Thanksgiving holiday. Um, Hope Outreach Center, last week on November 7th, 16, they did a community dinner for the Mableton Austell, South Cobb area. The executive director of Hope Outreach Center, Center is Carolyn Turner. Also want to recognize Mr. Leslie Walker with the South Cobb Recreation Center along with the Boys and Girls Club for doing a Thanksgiving dinner for the community last Friday night, November 18th. And then Leland United Methodist Church is giving out um, Thanksgiving baskets to the um, South Cobb community. So I want to recognize that. Um, upcoming events, um, we will be hosting a community job fair at the South Cobb Recreation Center on December the 12th. Um, that's going to kick off um, Six Flags Drive Neighborhood Week. And that's all for tonight. Thank you. Yeah, great job. Thank you very much. The next speaker is Kenneth Howell.